the empty side. Okay? Don't touch me. Okay, all right. You have that. All right, so I'm ready. Stop! All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Calm. I just want to see. Okay, fine. I'm fine. fine. Let's we'll make this quick, okay? All right. Now, straighten you out, okay? Come on, come on, straighten you out. It's straight. It's quick. All right, you guys just missed. Pull it. Arms out of the way there, okay? Yep, just get out of the way. Stop! All right. All right, just... Here, I got her. Just roll her up. Just shoot it. Stop touching it! Shoot it! Way to shoot an x-ray. She's positioned, and she's standing behind our control area, which is lead shielded, ready to shoot it. for a flow exam, the following steps need to be done. Okay, we have to close the bucky slot. And we also have to put in the shield for the flow machine. Make sure that you're fully prepared with your lead apron. Don't forget your thyroid shield. And also make sure that you have your bag showing on the outside. Clip to the neck. All right. Okay. In some floor exams, there may not be the little curtain that falls down. So we have things that come from the ceiling and you can just position it next to the patient and it will help reduce your dose even more in addition to the apron and the thyroid shield. And we also have this rolling one, the wheels are kind of old on this one, but normally it rolls pretty well. Um, this can also shield you, let's say if you, sometimes for modified variants as well, if you don't necessarily have to be in, you know, assisting a um, radiologist, so you can stand behind here if you're assisting like a speech pathologist, something like that, and you have even more protection. It's all about dose and fluoroscopy and making sure you get as little as possible since it is like a live action exam. Fluoro. When you're walking away from the table, and let's say you have a wrap or you don't have a wrap around the um, apron, make sure you don't walk with your back to the radiation. So always, if you're um, walking out of the room, back up like that. And also, if there's a radiologist in the exam, try to stand behind him or as far as possible if if you're able to, and that exam allows you to. Okay. Sir, can you please turn on your stomach? Thank you. Sometimes, since the controls are out here and the patient fully understands what you're saying and you don't have to give them any barium, this, that, or whatever, sometimes you can stand behind here because this has all the controls back here that are out there, so it's pretty handy. In case you ever have to put your hand under the primary beam to assist for either the radiologist or the tech, we have lead gloves. They're pretty heavy duty, but once you get used to wearing them and you know you're protecting yourself, um, you wear them, and then there's also these um, glasses. So if you have to be in the primary beam and your eyes aren't like covered and you're pretty close to it, you can always wear these. They even have the side um, lead shield. So these are pretty handy. And before an x-ray, you wanna make sure you get the maximum distance as possible away from the patient. And always alert the personnel near you to shoot Take before you shoot breath. the x-ray. X-ray!
got some saline. I'll be right back, okay? And just jump on in here. You were scanning, weren't you? Yes, I was. What were you doing? You just walked right in there. I'll be back. Always be aware of your surroundings, especially in areas where there's radiation. Sometimes people could be scanning and you won't even know it. I don't think it's oxygen right now. No, but you must be up? scanning there. You need to keep your distance. Oh, hey, Lena. Are you going home? Yeah, hey, Father. How are you doing? Um, I wanted to give you this letter. It's okay. informing you that I am pregnant. Uh, huh, okay. All right, so um, I guess in this case we'll um, take you out to floral, um, also to get a surgery in IR, and um, also make sure to get you a maternity apron, as well as this, okay? We'll put that on right now. Okay. All right, y'all protect it down there, and uh, I guess you can name Kelvin. <laughs> okay? All right. All right, see you later. What I did was formally inform my supervisor that I am pregnant. What he did was give me another monitor device for my fetus, which my fetus cannot reach over 0 0.05 grams a year. Now what will happen is that my monitoring device and my fetus monitoring device will be read monthly. And he is going to um, give me an apron, a, ma a maternity apron that is 0.5 millimeters equivalent to lead, and um, he is going to take me out of high radiation areas like fluoro and IR. And what happened is that once he informed me on this, I signed a form stating that we went through the um, safety regulations for me and my fetus to keep us healthy. We encounter different mm -hmm. patients like yeah. pediatrics, psych patients, elderly. Sometimes they're not very cooperative. This uh -huh. is what you definitely don't do. Okay. Do you want me to say it or do you want to be the crazy person or what do you want to do? Since I am pregnant, I informed my supervisor um, with a letter saying that I am, and what he's going to be doing is giving me um, a maternity apron, which is 0 0.05, no, 0.5 millimeters of lead, and um, my a badge, an extra badge for to monitor the fetus. Oh, no, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. My fetus, my fetus cannot exceed 0 0.05. You're looking at me last time. Extra monitor. Um, actually, a device to monitor my fetus, which the baby cannot exceed 0.05. Is it 0.05? God, okay, well, I'm 0.05 red one. 0.05 Okay. God, what is the word now? <laughs> Formally. I'm just gonna no. let it record. Okay, too bad. <laughs> what was that? What did she say? It was? I'm gonna formally no. inform. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>